India starts to flex its muscles in the global semiconductor market. India's Tata Group will begin producing semiconductors in the country within a few years, a move that the chairman of the group's main company said will make the South Asian country a key part of global chip supply chains. Tata Sun's chairman Natarajan Chandrasekharan revealed that the conglomerate plans to launch new businesses in emerging fields such as electric vehicles. Let's get more on this uh, from DW correspondent Charu Kartike in Delhi. Charu, uh, Tata producing semiconductors in a couple of years is not going to solve the shortage now. So what is their motivation to get into chip making? Well, Chris, Tata, there have been uh, rumors about this for over a year. So the Tatas have essentially only confirmed a rumor. So that ha answers the now part. The motivation is primarily to get into this race, to uh, develop India as a semiconductor hub of the future. Now, the federal government uh, came up with a mission on this, according to, uh, to which uh, companies that will be setting up businesses will be receiving uh, some subsidies and benefits from the government. So at least uh, half a dozen companies across the country, they've already uh, expressed interest in setting up uh, these uh, units into this mm -hmm. business, but the Tatars are definitely uh, the biggest of uh, them all. So uh, they're going to uh, most likely have an advantage. So you say uh, the rumors have been there for quite a while. Uh, how far along is this plan then? Well, uh, Chris, uh, first of all, the Tata set up a brand new electronics company for the, in 2020. They uh, appointed a CEO in 2021. And it's only now that they've gone public with their plans. Uh, so initially, as of now, they are planning only to get into uh, assembly and uh, packaging part, which is the downstream part of the business. Really, the upstream part is actual manufacturing of semiconductors, which uh, which is quite uh, a gigantic uphill task. And Tata's will require brand new technology as well as partners to get into this, which is why it will take some time and which is why they plan to uh, begin from the downstream part of the business. Uh, they've decided to put in uh, $90 billion and they're going to do it over the next five years. Now you mentioned it. I mean, this can turn out to be quite a difficult operation. Uh, what are the pitfalls that you're seeing? Well, uh, Chris, I think the only pitfall that I can imagine uh, is that this is a, an absolutely greenfield project. In fact, the industry itself is is greenfield. Tatas will have to begin from scratch. Uh, so uh, that's that's a pitfall, but that's a pitfall that is most likely to be faced by smaller companies. The Tatas, as we know, they are uh, India's largest conglomerate. They're popularly known as the salt to uh, steel conglomerate because everything that you can imagine under the sun, the Tatas make it from salt to retail to aviation to hospitality to steel to uh, uh, software, anything, you name it under the sun and the Tatas are doing it. So if, if there's anyone who is well-placed to take on this challenge and uh, uh, do it successfully, it is the Tatas, Chris. DW's Charu Kartike in Delhi. Charu, thank you.